The showers bring sewage problems for some Pula residents. Oh, what a mess. 60,000 gallons of raw sewage backed up into a drainage pond, creating quite a stench. WJCL's Ashley Lincoln talked with frustrated neighbors today, and I can imagine they were very frustrated. Very frustrated, Jennifer, because this is the second time this has happened in that neighborhood. They told me they knew something wasn't right when they smelled something bad in the air. Pooler resident Stephanie Miner says she knew something wasn't right when she saw her road covered in water this past weekend. No, you can smell it because you can tell the backup is there, so we already knew it before we even saw the trucks. What Miner and neighbors in this Copperville subdivision were smelling was a raw sewage backup coming from this pond. I just don't think it's safe uh, to be around that, to smell it, to ingest it or anything. The Pooler Fire Department told WJCL the backup occurred sometime Saturday after heavy rains flooded a portion of the drainage system. And it's not all sewage. Most of that is rainwater. Um, what happened is as the rain so heavy, it got into the storm sewer system overloaded the system and started flowing out. But what alarms Miner the most is the amount of sewage that backed up into the pond. 60,000 gallons of sewage backed up. Excuse me? Oh, that's gross. Mm -hmm. She says although that that's a large amount, they're no stranger to this type of backup. The last time it happened, um, the fish were dying. There were some fish dying that we noticed. Pooler Fire Chief Wade Simmons says a resident alerted authorities about the spillage Saturday. We have signs posted all the way around the pole, around the, the pond. Um, we came out and did the initial tests that are required by EPD. Those initial tests came back with very little to no uh, damage to the environment. Chief Simmons says the city of Pooler is in the planning stages of redesigning the drainage system. They expect within 12 months to have it redesigned to where we can lessen the chance of this happening again in this area. Yeah, I believe they'll do it. I don't know how long it's going to take, but hopefully they'll fix it. And the fire department will continue to test the pond over the next coming days. Once everything is all clear, they will remove all the signs. And Kevin and Jennifer, that's a sign that everything is safe for the public. All right, all right. appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, Ashley. Last weekend's heavy rain 